Hello everyone. Welcome to Let's Get On With It, Flight From The Dark. The first book in um, a series of Lone Wolf books created by Joe Dever and illustrated by Gary Chalk. I've talked about doing this on my channel for over the past two months. Uh, whenever I started my whole choose your own adventure thing, uh, YouTube user DeathEthan13, I'll link to his YouTube channel in the video description, uh, messaged me uh, mentioning these since I like choose your own adventure stories. He recorded a few of these for his channel and uh, he said that his viewers liked them and uh, I've never done any of these before. I know about the series, I know they're interactive game books, I know they're, you know, I've heard lots of good things about them, but I've never gotten around to doing them myself, it's just something that I never picked up. Well, um, I'm not, I, yes, yes, we already aware, whatever. I know that most of these, I'm pretty sure not all of them, are kept on this website called projectaeon.org. It's uh, for free. You can go there, you can access them, you can even access spiffy cool uh, like character sheet things to help you keep track of stuff. Because it's an interactive game book, it's like an RPG you're playing by yourself. Uh, it's a one-person adventure, and the game master is the book itself. And, or rather, I guess you, because you're the one who's keeping track of all the dice rolls and everything. So yeah, I really can't give you a whole lot of information. Uh, there will be a whole lot of reading in the series, but you'll actually have something to look at instead of an Operation Night Flight and the Curse of the Creeping Coffin when you really didn't have a whole lot to look at. Uh, I don't know whether I'll read every single word that pops up. I mean, if you switch to 720p and switch the thing to full screen, I guess I'll read all the stuff for folks who might just want to minimize the video. I don't know. How much time did that take me? Is that like a three minute intro? Shit, that was only two minutes. I need to add an additional like 50 seconds of filler. <laughs> no, uh, since I don't really know anything about this stuff other than the Choose Your Own Adventure interactive game book series, I can't really babble on about it, so... Oh, I was trying to figure out which character sheet thing I wanted to use. I like this one. It's all like sleek and refined and stuff. Uh, this one keeps things all spelled out and shit. I don't know. You got me. Hopefully the game book is going to walk me through the process of creating a character. I do have the reader's handbook open to flip to the Kai game rules, because this is the first book, and like books 1 through 5 are part of the Kai game series, so it fits. It all works out. I guess I'll just go with this character sheet. That'll be fine. I think Death Even 13 went with the one that I just closed. Alright, how much time did that take? Alright, sweet, we're good to go. You are Lone Wolf. Minimize. In a devastating attack, the Dark Lords have destroyed the monastery where you are learning the skills of the Kai Lords. You are the sole survivor. Let me magnify this text. Whenever I read things on the internet, I usually uh, magnify the text to at least 150% if not 200%, just because I've been using the computer for so many years. It's easier on my eyes. In Flight from the Dark, you swear revenge. But first, you must reach Holmgard to warn the King of the Gathering Evil. Also, I don't have my lightsaber out. Not well. Relentlessly, the Servants of Darkness hunt you across your country, and every turn of the page presents a new challenge. Choose your skills and your weapons carefully, for they can help you succeed in the most fantastic and terrifying journey of your life. Joe Dever, the creator of the best-selling Lone Wolf Adventure books and novels, has achieved worldwide recognition in three creative fields, as an award-winning author of international renown, as an acclaimed musician and composer, and as a games designer specializing in role-playing games. On graduating from college in 1974, Joe Dever became a professional musician, and for several years he worked in the music industry in Europe and the United States. While working in L.A. in 1977, he discovered a then-little-known game called Dungeons & Dragons, Satan's Game. Although the game was in its infancy, Joe at once realized its huge potential and began designing his own role-playing games along similar conceptual lines. These first games were to form the basis of a fantasy world called Magnamund, which later became the setting for the Lone Wolf books. Five years later, in 1982, at the Origins Game Fair, Joe won the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons World Championships in Baltimore, an event held before 16,000 people. Inspired and encouraged by his success at Origins, Origins, Joe decided to quit the music business, music business and devote his time to writing and games design. In 1983, after a brief spell at Games Workshop huh, in London, he wrote Flight from the Dark, 
the first Lone Wolf interactive game book. His manuscript immediately attracted a frenzy of interest from three major London publishing companies, all of whom bid for world rights. Joe accepted an offer of publication from Hutchinson's, later become Century Hutchinson LTD, now Random House UK, and Flight from the Dark was first published in 1984. A good year, 1984. First book sold more than 100,000 copies within its first month of publication, and overseas rights were snapped up by 12 countries. The success of Joe's first book laid the foundations for, for the future of the Lone Wolf series, which has sold millions of copies around the world. The Lone Wolf series ended after 28 books in 14 years. Joe has continued to work in the games industry as a script writer and games design consultant. I'm trying to read quickly and now I'm getting tongue-tied. Gary Chalk here, illustrator of the Lone Wolf series. I got a lot of reading to do, so I probably shouldn't wear my throat out. Not to say that, you know, these guys don't matter, but... Eh. This is the Internet Edition. Alright. Forward! Dedication to Mel Inion. Acknowledgements. I'd be especially pleased with my granting of the rights to distribute my books in this way was seen as my millennium gift to all those devoted readers who, uh... This is basically a dedication process, I'm guessing, where, uh, he's like, Hey, I really want to share these books, because, you know, he's... These are his, and he's like, It's okay to share these for free on your website. It's a non-profit website, that way so many more people can enjoy them, and... Certainly, I will have the opportunity to enjoy them, which is great. And here's a list of credits. Good job, guys. Way to go. You did it. The story so far. In the beginning. <laughs> In the northern land of Summerland, it has been the custom for many centuries to send the children of the warrior lords to the monastery of Kai. There, they are taught the skills and disciplines of their noble fathers. The Kai monks are masters of their art, and the children in their charge love and respect them in spite of the hardships of their training. For one day, when they have finally learnt the secrets of the secret skills of the Kai, they will return to their homes equipped in mind and body to defend themselves against the constant threat of war from the Dark Lords of the West. In olden times, during the Age of the Black Moon, the Dark Lords waged war on Summerland. The conflict was a long and bitter trial of strength that ended in victory for the Sum Lending at the Great Battle of Mackengorge. Mack that gorge. King Olnar and the allies of Durinor broke the Dark Lord armies at the Pass of Moitura and forced them back into the bottomless abyss of Mackengorge. Vashna, mightiest of the Dark Lords, was slain upon the sword of King Olnar, called Summersword, the Sword of the Sun. Since that age, the Dark Lords have vowed vengeance upon Summerland and the House of Olnar. Now it is in the morning of the Feast of Fenmarn, when all the Kai Lords are present at the monastery for the celebrations. Suddenly, a great black cloud comes from out of the western skies. So many are the numbers of the black-winged beasts that fill the sky, that the sun is completely hidden. The Dark Lords, each an enemy of the sun lending, are attacking. War has begun. On this fateful morning, you, Silent Wolf, the name given to you by the Kai, have been sent to collect firewood in the forest as a punishment for your inattention in class. As you are preparing to return, you see to your horror a vast cloud of black leathery creatures swoop down and engulf the monastery. Dropping the wood, you race to the battle that has already begun, but in the unnatural dark you stumble and strike your head on a low tree branch. As you lose consciousness, the last thing that you see in the poor light are the walls of the monastery crashing to the ground. Many hours pass before you awake. With tears in your eyes, you now survey the scene of destruction. Raising your face to this clear sky, you swear vengeance on the Dark Lords for the massacre of the Kai warriors. With a sudden flash of realization, you know what you must do. You must set off on a perilous journey to the capital city to warn the king of the terrible threat that now faces his people. For you are now the last of the Kai. You are now the Lone Wolf. The game rules. You keep a record of your adventures, uh, of your adventure on the action chart. During your training as a Kai Lord, you have developed a fighting prowess, combat skill, and physical stamina, endurance. Let me re return that to normal zoom. Before you set off on your adventure, you need to measure how effective your training has been. To do this, take a pencil and with your eyes closed, point with the blunt end of it onto the random number table. We will not be doing that. There's a random number table here. We're going to be, uh, exercising the use of that, I reckon. Let me take a 
sip of water first. I should use my actual dice, but since you all know, or you should know, how much game luck generators love to screw me, as opposed to my actual dice who love me to bits and pieces, what the hell, it'll make, more th it'll make things more interesting if I use this bastard here. So, let's get it started. Random number is 5. Add 10 to the number you picked, and write the total in the combat skill section of your action chart. Okay, when you fight, your combat skill will be pitted against that of your enemy. High score in this section is therefore very desirable. I did some review of the rules in the Reader's Handbook. I think I mentioned that, but I did like a sample combat too. But haven't gone through these books at all. So, 15. Okay. Hard to read that stuff. For me, I imagine it's even harder for you guys. The second number that you pick from the random number table represents your power of, powers of endurance. <laughs> My training was not very effective. <laughs> Add 20 to this number. Go, go me. Woo. Um, Add 20 to this number and write the total in the endurance section of your action chart. If you are wounded in combat, you will lose endurance points, but any time your endurance points fall to zero below, you are dead and the adventure is over. Good to know. Hmm. That's weird. Why is it just a two up there? I don't know. I think my constant uh, minimizing has messed, like, my zoom factor messed with the chart a little bit. Whatever. Onward. Over the centuries, the Kai monks have mastered the skills of the warrior. These skills are known as the Kai Disciplines, and they are taught to all Kai Lords. You have learnt only five of the skills listed below. The choice of which five skills these are is for you to make. As all the disciplines may be of use to you at some point in your perilous quest, pick your five with care. The correct use of a discipline at the right time can save your life. When you've chosen your five disciplines, enter them in the Kai Disciplines section of your action chart, right here. We're on the Kai tab. Let's go ahead and allow me to zoom in here. We've got Camouflage. This discipline enables a Kai Lord to blend in with his surroundings. In the countryside, he can hide undetected among trees and rocks and pass close to an enemy without being seen. A town or city enables him to look and sound like a native of that area and can help him to find shelter or a safe hiding place. Hunting. The skill ensures that a Kai Lord will never starve in the wild. He will always be able to hunt for food for himself, except in areas of wasteland and desert. The skill also enables a Kai Lord to be able to move stealthily when stalking his prey. Sixth Sense. The skill may warn a Kai Lord of imminent danger. It may also reveal the true purpose of a stranger or strange object encountered in your adventure. Tracking. The skill enables a Kai Lord to make the correct choice of a path in the wild, to discover the location of a person or object in a town or city, and to read the secrets of footprints or tracks. Healing. This discipline can be used to restore endurance points lost in combat. If you possess this skill, you may restore one endurance point to your total for every numbered section of the book you pass through in which you are not involved in combat. Okay, I think I understand that one. Weapon skill. Upon entering the Kai Monastery, each initiate is taught to master one type of weapon. If weapon skill is to be one of your Kai disciplines, pick a number in the usual way from the random number table and then find the corresponding weapon from the list below. This is the weapon in which you have skill. When you enter combat carrying this weapon, you add plus two points to your combat skill. The fact that you are skilled with a weapon does not mean you set out on the adventure carrying that particular weapon. However, you will have opportunities to acquire weapons in the course of your adventures. If you pick the axe, you are lucky enough to be skilled in the one weapon Lone Wolf is carrying from the start of the adventure. Hmm. You cannot carry more than two weapons. Blah blah blah. Mind Shield. The Dark Lords and many of the evil creatures in, the com in their command have the ability to attack you using their Mind Force. The Kai Discipline of Mind Shield prevents you from losing any endurance points when subjected to this form of attack. If you choose this skill, write Mind Shield No Points Lost when attacked by Mind Blast on your action chart. Mind Blast. This enables a Kai Lord to attack an enemy using the force of his mind. It can be, in, it can be used at the same time as normal combat weapons and adds two extra points to your combat skill. Not all the creatures encountered on this adventure will be harmed by Mind Blast. You will be told if a creature is immune. Animal Kinship. 
The skill enables Akaya Lord to communicate with some animals and be able to guess the intentions of others. Mind over matter. Mastery of this discipline enables Akaya Lord to move small objects with its powers of concentration. If you successfully complete the mission as set in Book 1 of Lone Wolf, you may add a further Kai discipline of your choice to your action chart in Book 2. This additional skill, together with your five other skills and any special items that you picked up in Book 1, may then be used in the next adventure to Lone Wolf series, which is called Fire on the Water. Okay. So, let's see what I want here. I definitely want hunting. Hunting sounds like it would be very useful. Also, my chart's fucked up again. I presume due to all my zoomins. My zoomins. My zamin zoomins. <laughs> want hunting. I uh, think I'm going to want tracking as well. I'm going to be out here all on my own. Camouflage sounds like it'll be good as well. Uh, six cents. I don't know about that. Healing definitely sounds like it would be extremely useful. Animal kinship. No. Mind over matter. You know, that sounds like a power I would take due to the being a fucking necromancer. And of course, you know, the whole mind shield and mind blast thing sounds like something I'd go after too due to the being the power, like a fucking necromancer. I guess I don't have to pick hunting because yeah, you can compensate for that by getting meals. And meals aren't effective in all locations. Uh, maybe since I was inattentive in class, though. No, camouflage and hunting go well together, and suited tracking. I think I'll be keeping those. Weapon skill. Hmm. No. I'm going to pick Mind Shield and Mind Blast. I think, I think, I think. Six Sense? No, that's not me. I'm not lucky enough to have a Six Sense. Healing? Oof. Oof, can I really leave behind healing? We'll say that, alright, I don't have super cool magical powers, but I'm immune to super cool magical powers. It's great. Healing. Sounds like it's a big deal. Records, inventory, inventory is full. I wonder if this thing will automatically keep track and like update and stuff. Because like my healing effect, I gained that through like every numbered page of... May restore one endurance point to your total for every numbered section of the book you pass through in which you are not involved in combat. It's only to be used after your endurance has fallen below its original level. Right, 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 right. Why is it showing a 2 here still? Like, if I change it to that... Is it just like some sort of, like, endurance point bonus? Hmm. I don't know. All I know is that in the process of changing it, I, I fucked with it. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's like my current endurance. And I just needed to update it. That's all. Okay. <laughs> so much for my training, huh? <laughs> well, that's what I get for not paying attention in class. <laughs> that's what I get. Damn it. Well, hopefully we can make do of this. I think I'm cool with those. Almost 19 minutes of this. Maybe we'll get on with playing one of these days. Next up. Equipment. You are dressed in the green tunic and cloak of a Kai initiate. You have little with you to arm yourself for survival. All you possess is an axe and a backpack containing one meal. Hanging from your waist is a lever pouch containing gold crowns. To find out how many, pick a number from the random number table. Seven. Seven gold crowns. Okay. You discover amongst the smoking ruins of the monastery a map of Summerland. Note under special items. Showing... The capital city of Holmgard and the land of Durinor, far to the east. So, this is our map, right? Okay. Kai Monastery, there's Home Guard far to the east. Got it. 
place the map, you also find one of the following. Ooh, okay. Resume my, uh, use my random number table doodad mababa jigger. All right. One meal map of Summerland, and I guess I can note my green tunic and cloak here, I guess. I'll do that. Probably don't need to, but I'll do it anyway. What the hell? And random number says two. Special item helmet. This adds plus two endurance points to your total. Nice. What else could have I gotten? Two meals, a chainmail waistcoat, four endurance points. Boo! Bastards. A healing potion, 12 gold crowns. Ah, oh, dick. Oh, well. Backpack items. Okay. Food. Well, I don't need to list, like, one meal. Like, each meal takes up an individual slot, so we'll just say meal there. Backpack item, special item, so... You will need to eat regularly during your adventure. If you do not have any food when you are instructed to eat a meal, you will lose three endurance points. If you have chosen the kind of discipline of hunting as one of your five skills, you will not need to take off a meal when instructed to eat. So, armor gives me plus two here, then? And I presume I get plus two to that, too. I'm presuming. It's fine. Okay, okay, that's not bad. It's not bad, it's not bad. I'm cool with that. You know, I got a bonus to my weak endurance cool. That's cool. Inventory is full. It's not even remotely full. What the fuck? Rules for combat. There will be occasions on your adventure when you have to fight an enemy. The enemy's combat skill and endurance points are given in the text. I presume I put them in the battle section. Lone Wolf's aim in the combat is to kill the enemy by reducing his endurance points to zero while losing as few endurance points as possible himself. At the start of a combat... Enter Lone Wolf's and the enemy's endurance points in the appropriate boxes on the combat record section of your action chart. Then add any extra points gained through your Kai disciplines. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to have that open. I guess I will, yeah. Unless it'll automatically keep track of that for me. We'll see. Evasion of combat, blah 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 blah. Levels of Kai training. I'm an initiate. Which is why I start with five Kai disciplines. Okay. Is that all? Kai wisdom. Your mission will be one of great danger, for the Dark Lords and their servants are a cruel and fierce enemy who give and expect no mercy. Use the map to help you steer a correct course for the capital. Make notes as you progress through the story, for they will be of great help in future adventures. Many things that you find will aid you during the adventure. Some special items will be of use in future Lone Wolf adventures, and others may be red herrings of no real use at all, so be selective in what you decide to keep. There are many routes to the king, but only one involves a minimum of danger. With a wise choice of Kai disciplines and a great deal of courage, any players should be able to complete the mission no matter how weak their initial combat skill or endurance point scores. <laughs> the honor and memory of the Kai Lords will go with you on your perilous journey. Good luck. Alright, I think we'll end the video here. That was a interesting little introduction, and we have myself a character sheet. Save game? Alright. Another character sheet I think had like three save option slots. This still looks prettier. Might not be as functional, but goddammit, it's pretty, and aesthetics count for a lot in this world. <laughs> I'll see you all next time.